Aloha and welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on ThinkTech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays 11 a.m. My name is Vanessa Perez and I'm the CEO of S3 Career Consulting. I'm filling in for Danielia and John today and welcome to the show. The goal of Keys to Success show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career or your business. Richard Burton is the founder of JKD Unlimited. He was the guest on last week's show and his words of wisdom can be found at the Newman Consulting Services website on newmanconsultingservices.com or at the landing page danelia.org, that's D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E Joining us today in the show is our guest, Terry Werner. Terry's a DSWA accredited coach. She's a certified trainer and she's the founder of Terry Werner International. And, and her organisation called WE. Today's theme for the show is creating a culture of excellence. Thanks so much for joining us today, Terry. We had uh, scheduled a Skype interview and uh, sadly technology failed us today. So we have a beautiful image of you on the screen so we can see what you look like. And today we'll be doing our interview via phone. I hope that's okay. This is perfect. Thank you so much. It's an honour to join you. Oh, thanks, Terry. It's uh, fantastic to uh, uh, have you on the show today and uh, let people learn a little bit more about what you do. Um, it's a shame you're not here personally for me to give you a hug, but uh, let's see if we can uh, share some of your wisdom with our viewers today. Terry, you conduct training and coaching all around the world with, with uh, people in different parts of the world as well. And you're known as a strategic and transformation, transformational coach. I didn't get that right, did I? Transformational coach. Um, mm -hmm. Could you tell us a bit more about what that means, what you do? And I'd love to hear more about uh, Terry Werner International and, and what we means. Okay. Okay, well, first of all, thank you so much. This is an honor, as I said. And uh, Terry Werner International is a company I developed years ago as a mentoring and coaching company to help people create synergy, strategies, and structures to create the business. Uh, my my belief is that conversations without transformational impact, really making that transformation in your life and creating strategies combining with that, I will not lead you forward. What will lead you forward in your life, whatever you're choosing to, to design and create your life, is going to include being synergistic, being strategic, and being structured. Right. And so... My background is very strong in entrepreneurial business, so I created this company to support others in creating that which is their dream, that which they would like to see in their business and their life. Um, I am currently a uh, DSWA certified coach and certified trainer. We have the Coach Excellence programs that we train people coaching skills all over the world, and I'm very, very honored to be a part of that. and. It's a great passion in my life to see changes take place in others. Uh, the reason I believe in the transformational part of coaching is, you know, connecting you to that which you choose to create in a powerful way and creating awareness in your life about what it is in your life that you want to create. What is it that you want to create? What is holding you back? Mm -hmm. What would be that thing that would propel you you know, so many people, all of us, come to various relationships in every area of our life, different seasons of our life, pulling behind us, <laughs> sometimes rather reluctantly, a bag filled with all our life experiences, right. you know? Yes. <laughs> some good, some bad. And you can take some of those into your next season in life and, you know, the rest of your journey. It's just very um, important that you choose what you take with you and you choose the lessons you've learned. And so valuing that and really connecting in the core of a person, your identity, who you are, what drives you, and what do you truly get excited about creating. And then putting strategies in place that will take you from that bridge of awareness on one side of the bridge to outcome. What are those strategies that will really make a difference? that you'll go from where you are to where you want to go in an accelerated path. But that's a nutshell. Yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. It's very powerful. And I, and I should let viewers know that I've actually experienced you live in training and uh, I find you very inspirational and 
Um, and you know that I work with people who are changing careers and um, often we really do want to encourage people to visualise and daydream about what it is that they want to achieve, what are their goals. And um, so in line with that, um, you, you're probably very uh, aware of the employment situation down in, in Hawaii. So we have a fairly low unemployment rate, but you know, many people are working two and three jobs to make ends meet. And some just feel a bit challenged about moving forward. Do you have some tips that you may offer some, you know, career changes or people who want to um, reinvigorate their careers um, and move forward? Uh, yes. Um, of course, I could talk for a day and a half on that, so yeah. I'll try to be brief <laughs> for the sake of your audience. Um, is, you know, one of the things I think is really important to be strategic, I've said strategy now about 18 times in this call so forward, uh, so far, is to be strategic, to be creative. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is to connect with, again, that core of you. Think about what makes you excited? What, is, what do you feel passionate about? What do you do that when you do that, you, you feel so fulfilled, almost euphoric, that there is some you've gone to a place that that is really where you where you fit and connect with that pay attention to that i always love to say one of my favorite little things i've made up was love people pay attention to patterns hmm. pay attention to patterns you know we used to hear a lot you know that you learn from your experiences hmm. i do not believe that is true i do not believe you learn from experience you only learn from the experiences you pay attention to. Right. Otherwise, we wouldn't make the same mistakes over and over and over. You know, marry the same people but a different name. You have the same business experiences that don't work because we're not paying attention. So connecting with the core of what drives you, what brings you joy, what are you passionate about, and then pay attention, create strategies on how to get from where you are to where do you want to go and connect with that place powerfully. I will tell you, I have found, I believe, you know, we see a lot of people that don't have a level of commitment to creating what's going in their business. Mm -hmm. And many times we wonder, we say things like, oh, they have so much potential, which I think is a four-letter word anyway. Um, you know, potential and that, and 50 cents wanting to buy you a cup of coffee. Um, but, you know, we say things like, oh, they could do so much with my life. I don't know what's holding them back, all these mm -hmm. things. And I think many times it's a lack of connection with where they want to go, where they're choosing to go. So the commitment is not there. Mm -hmm. I do not believe it is even rational to think that you're going to have this amazing high level of commitment, like a 10 level of commitment, and only have a five level of connection. Mm -hmm. The level of commitment will follow the level of connection. Mm -hmm. So creating that connection so powerfully, what does it feel like? What does it look like? What do you feel like when you reach that place? And there's all kinds of coaching tools around that and skills. And then creating that commitment. Yes, I am committed to that. And so are you committed to the action that will be required to make that happen? It's one thing to be committed to the dream. It's a whole other thing to be committed to the activity that will be required to make that happen. And so looking at the connection, the commitment, creating the strategies. And the other thing I want to say about that is find a mentor. You know, go to networking meetings that have to do with this. Look for people that don't have skills you have, that have skills you'd like to have. And find someone who you just offer to work with who can mentor you in that area. A mentor, I'm telling you, without the mentor I have in my life, I will tell you right now, 90% of what I know about sales and building business, I would not know. But mm -hmm. I soaked everything up that man had to say. I followed him everywhere. I soaked up everything he had to say. And I worked and I worked and I worked until I became, in many ways, more proficient than he was. It became a game to me. So those things... But most of all, if you follow what you love, if you find out what you love, what will take place is you'll never work a day in your life, really, because you won't feel like it's hard work, because you're, you're, you're living the life you love. And that's one of the most important things that has worked, has worked for me. It's, uh, it's so important. And you know, I, I work with a lot of uh, career changes, and particularly military, and it's one of the biggest 
uh, tips I give them is, is find somebody who's already successful in the career that you want to change to, find a mentor, you know, and uh, it's, it's the best advice ever. You, you have answered some of my questions, you know, what are, what are the things that you would ask people um, if they're feeling a, a little bit blocked in, the, in their change? Um, Terry, could you share with us some of the things that people usually come to you? What, what do they come to you? What sort of challenges um, are they faced with that you help them work through? Uh, well, you know, you know, you know me a little bit because we've spent some time together and you've yeah. been to some of my trainings yes. and uh, you know my passion is coaching. Yes. I absolutely adore coaching. Uh, and it shines through I, as well. It really shines <laughs> through with... And we can, we can see the passion, you know, in, you know, the energy and the motivation and the inspiration that you have now with the, with the wisdom that you're sharing uh, with us. So thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. It's a joy. It's an absolute joy. Um, I love coaching. Let me just share this first. I love coaching because coaching is the fastest, most proficient path to create what you choose to create in your life. You can go to personal development, self-help. You can go to business trainings. You can go to all kinds of trainings, and they're wonderful. I train. They are wonderful. Uh, these have been some amazing trainings. The coaching is the secret sauce, that key to making things happen. And so I love to coach uh, because I see the outcome, and honestly, it's such a fulfillment for me. I, I am energized by mm -hmm. making a change, seeing a change in a life, and uh, supporting people in that way. Some of the things people come to me with, they feel stuck. They feel like they're in a place they don't want to be, and they don't know how to get out. Mm -hmm. Many times those people have obstacles in their limiting belief, and it could be childhood things. that Something could have been said to them when they were 10 years old that they hung on to as their truth. When it was only a passing statement at a period of time from someone many times may have been frustrated or wounded themselves. Right. Terry, so, this is, I'm sorry to interrupt, this is really powerful wisdom that you're sharing with us, but we really do need to take a break and I'd like to come back and maybe finish that thought with you when we come back from our break. So. Yeah. Viewers, okay. we're, we're talking with Terry Werner today. She's a DSW certified coach, and uh, we look forward to you tuning back in after our short break. Thanks so much for tuning in. Aloha. I am Reg Baker, and I am the host of Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 in the Think Tech studios in downtown Honolulu. We highlight successful stories about businesses and individuals and learn their secrets to success. I hope you can join us on our next show on Thursday at 2 o'clock. Until then, aloha. Hello, I'm Marianne Sasaki. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii, where some of the most interesting conversations in Honolulu go on. I have a show on Wednesdays from 1 to 2 called Life in the Law, where we discuss legal issues, politics, governmental topics, and a whole host of issues. I hope you'll join me. And thanks for tuning back in. We're talking with Terry Werner today. She's a global certified coach and, uh, and trainer. And today we're talking about creating a culture of collaboration. Thanks so much for tuning in and thanks for joining us today, Terry. Yes. Just before the break, we were actually talking about some really profound wisdom that you were sharing with us about some of the challenges that uh, people come to you to help them solve with coaching. I'm sorry to have mm -hmm. interrupted you. We, we'd like to <laughs> finish off that train of thought. If okay. Beautiful. Well, Thank we you. were talking about, thank you, we were talking about uh, people come from a place of being stuck. Maybe something was said to them when they were young that they took as their truth, which really was just a passing statement. And so that can create limiting beliefs around success, around what you can do and be in your life. Also, many people have obstacles, known or unknown. They may have no idea they have this obstacle. Right. Coaching is asking powerful questions to support you in coming forth with your answer. 
It's about taking you from where you are to just supporting you and going to where you want to be. Right. But the question and how they're framed is the important part of coaching and then just releasing you to create what you want to create. Sometimes people also come regarding relationships and conflict resolution and, and a lot of times it's how do I take, how do I go to where I want to go? How do I do that? How do I create the relationship or how do I create a life or a business? How do I grow my business? Where do I go next? What do I do? And even many times entrepreneurs, many times, which most of us are, <laughs> a yes. lot of us are, have the great ability to be synergistic a mediocre ability to be strategic, and then strategies, or, I'm sorry, structures can be a challenge. And so finding out what those challenges are and bringing forward questions that help you find your own answers. Thank you. That's fantastic. You were talking about a, a story earlier on this morning about what really in, inspired and motivated you towards this direction in your career. Could you share a little bit of that insight with us, Terry? Sure, I will. Um, back decades ago, I won't say how old I am. You know, you know, I am. You see a picture, you don't see me, so I could be anything. Uh, <laughs> if I'd known that, I would have done my makeup. So anyway... Uh, <laughs> You'll be <beautiful>. um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, years ago, decades ago, I was involved in a direct sales company, and they had these tape cassettes, that's how old I am, as a long time ago, by Zig Ziglar, probably the most profound or one of the most profound personal development icons ever. Mm -hmm. And he has passed now, which our world is, is greatly missing him. Um, but he made a statement that was so powerful, it was one statement. I call it a statement of change. I have a CD called Desperate for Destiny. It's a motivational CD. And I tell the story about it, it opened my heart and it changed my mind. It's very important. It opened my heart to possibilities and it changed my mind. Sometimes if we don't do both of those, we will never reach where we want to go. We have to be open in our heart and we have to open, change our mind. And he made one statement. And that one statement, I just embraced. It spoke to me. And I decided that's what I was going to do. That statement spurred me on to create something that I never really dreamed I could do. I always loved, I loved to be an interior designer. I thought, oh, I would love to do that. But I had no training, no formal training. I was broke. I was newly married. I had no money. And I was working two jobs. And so I had no time, no possibility of getting formal education. And he made a statement that encouraged me that I could do that. Now, see, a lot of people had said to me, oh, you can't be an interior designer. You don't have the talent. You don't have the skill. You don't have the training. People, some people even said, you're born. People are born with that talent to be an interior designer. And I didn't know, but actually I did have a natural ability to be an interior designer that I never would have known unless I put action to it. Right. If I had worked and created a strategy, I never would have known that I actually had an ability there. So I decided that I was going to do that, and I made a 10-year plan. Oh. I had to work. I had to work. I couldn't just stop working. And so I made a plan on how to work and build experience from jobs that gave me the ability and the training I needed to have. So first I became a salesperson. thought, if you could be a salesperson, you can do anything. You know, you'll never be without a job. Then I became a florist. Then I became a custom design rep for J.C. Penney. <laughs> I mean, I, this was very strategic. And for 10 years, my goal was to do this for 10 years. I didn't have lofty goals. And at the end of 10 years, I would make 2500 maybe 3000 a month and stay at home, bake brownies, and just work when I wanted to work. Yeah. Within eight years, Within eight years, I had started a company I co-founded with my father to do interior design for churches nationwide. We took that company public on NASDAQ for almost $10 million. That's amazing. Good on you. Thank you. What an no amazing training. story. Right. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. No formal education. Yes. No formal training. Yes. Nothing but I took a statement one person made, mm -hmm. and I decided it was mine. I embraced yes. it. I expanded it. I worked at it. And the interesting thing was, I'll tell you the statement, because everybody always writes me and says, why don't you tell that statement? Why don't really? you tell that statement? The statement was this. <laughs> I've seen boys born. I've seen girls born. 
I've seen attorneys born. Or, no, he's, I've, I've seen boys born. I've seen girls born. I've never seen an attorney born, a doctor born. I've never seen an interior designer born. Right. So I know somewhere between birth and death is when the life is really created. Wow. That was not the greatest statement ever said. He and I have spoken on stage together and laughed about that. What it was, but it was a statement that spoke to me. Right. Because I had been told, you're born with that talent. You, 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 know, you, know, you, know, you have it or you don't. Right. And so I just want to share, I want to share this with people because I found the job that would give me the training I needed to know to build my overall dream. Right. It wasn't my dream to be in self forever or to be a florist forever. It taught me what I needed to know. Right. So be strategic, think out of the box, embrace the statement, make it yours, create that strategy, and then work, 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 own it. And you know what? I created a life that I didn't even know what an, an IPO to go public, you file, was even, even meant six months before we did it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to know everything. You just have to be open-hearted, open-minded, and willing to do what it takes right. to build your dream. Right. I agree with you. That's so that took me, that one thing showed me, yeah. I didn't have to be that smart to do what I do. One statement made a difference in my life. Right. So I don't have to know your answers. Right. If I just know your questions, right. you'll find, you'll be supported and find what you need to create in your life, what you choose to create in your life. Right. That's why I do what I do, is that one statement changed my life, yes. changed my life forever. It's profound, you know, I and, I, and, I, and I want to bring it back to strategy. It's about being strategic. It's about visualizing what it is that you want to achieve and working out a plan on how to get there and then just do it. Dream mm -hmm. it, plan it, do it. It's pretty remarkable. Work. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to pick up on what you'd said about, you know, uh, people influencing your thought as well. I've, uh, a friend of mine's encouraged me to do the Honolulu, Honolulu Marathon next month. And I went, yeah, I can do that. And now people are saying to me, are you sure you haven't trained? And I go, you know what? Uh, I let them doubt me, but I, I let them put doubt in my head, but I refocus again today. And it's about like, I can do that. I just have to set my mind to it, you know, visualize myself at the finish line. I'm doing it. So I hope I might be able to get some coaching tips from you later, Terry, on giving me the motivation to make sure that I can do that. That'll be right. Well, you know, I'll be in Honolulu in January speaking with the Professional Women's Network and doing a, a small training a couple days later on creating, connecting, and committing to your vision. So fantastic. we'll get together. That's fantastic. Let's um, um, promote that. I think how can people get in contact with you via your website? to get more information on that? Right. It yep. says, if they can go to Terry Werner Coach, that's Terry Werner, T-E-R-I-W-E-R-N-E-R, coach.com, they can see that. They also can see that I am conducting a three-call series that they can join that is the, is the keys to live your vision. Right. And it is, I'm coaching them how to con create how to know what they want to create in their vision? Right. You know, what is their vision around? To connect again and to commit and to collaborate. Right. Who to collaborate with, how to collaborate, to build, to really create their outcomes. And that's on that website as well. And there's a way to contact me there. That's fantastic. I will be uh, in Honolulu for three weeks coaching and training, so that'll be exciting. That's fantastic. We, we can't wait to have you down here. And so people can actually, um, if they're part of the Professional Women's Network, get along to the luncheon in January. That's a fantastic organisation here locally in Hawaii. And, uh, and people can actually get coaching sessions with you via phone, which is phenomenal. I'm going to book you. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled that we had an opportunity today to talk with you and learn from you, Terry, and uh, hear some wisdom from you. I... Um, I am very sorry about our technical difficulties, but we had to, we saw your beautiful face up on the screen and uh, we've seen your website screenshot, which is fantastic. And mm -hmm. look for viewers tuning in, uh, you can find Terry's words of wisdom at 
the Newman Consulting Services website at newmanconsultingservices.com or you can visit the landing page danelia.org, that's D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E We're thrilled that you're able to tune in today and uh, learn some wisdom from Terry Werner, a DSWA certified coach and global uh, trainer and coach, a wonderful woman. I'm honoured to know her and we're thrilled that Terry could join us this morning from Texas. We look forward to seeing you in January. <laughs> Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you. In. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you so Aloha, much. Aloha, everyone. I look forward to hearing from your listeners, from your audience. I'm happy to uh, support anyone I can. Thanks, so, Terry. Bless Aloha! We invite you to join us on our Keys to Success show, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Our goal for Keys to Success is to provide a platform for professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. We have incredible guests from all walks of life, including politicians, successful business owners, leaders, entrepreneurs and authors. As this is a live show, there are live mess ups as well, which are fun to watch. Aloha and we'll see you on Thursday. <laughs>